eight tips that will definitely speed up your PC. Disable unnecessary startup programs. Simply left click here and type task manager and select it. Or right click here on the taskbar and select task manager from here. Then click on startup. These are the programs that starts up when my computer starts and they have an impact on the startup time like high, medium and low. So you should always disable any program that you don't use. Like Apple Push, I will simply disable it. Google Chrome, I will disable it. Google Drive, I will keep it because I use it. But as far as the OneDrive is concerned, you can see it has a high impact on the startup time, but I don't use it, so I will disable it. In the same way, I don't use Skype too much, so I will disable it too. Spotify, I never use it, so I will disable it. iTunes, I don't want them, so I will disable all of them. So I will quickly disable all the things that I don't use to speed up my system performance. Next, automatically delete unnecessary files. Left click here and type storage settings. Then turn on storage sense. What storage sense can do is that it can automatically free up space by deleting temporary files and contents in the recycle bin that you don't need. So left click here and turn it on. You can also clean up your hard drive using the built-in disk cleanup tool to delete temporary files, system files and other unnecessary data. Simply left click here and type disk cleanup. Then click OK. After this, check all of them. Plus, I will recommend to click on cleanup system files and then clicking on OK again. Now, drag it like this and make sure all of them are selected. Currently, you can see it can free up to 4.07 GB. Click OK and click delete files. Now, the disk cleanup will delete all of these files and it will give you a space of 4.09 GB. Defragment your hard drives. Left click here and type defragment. Then left click here. Now, click on optimize and optimize it at least once a week. Next, disable animation and visual graphics for better performance. Simply left click here and type advanced system settings and select it. After this, click on settings. I will just open this to make you understand few things. Currently, it is set for the windows to choose, but I want speed. So I will first select adjust for best performance. This will disable all of them, but there are few things that I like to open. Animation in the taskbar, save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show windows content while dragging, and lastly, smooth edges of screen fonts. Just look here, this part. When I apply it, you can see they are a little bit better. So I disable all of them, but turn on these five. Click OK. Next step, if you are using any third party antivirus software, then remove it. It might sound strange, but these third party antivirus normally slow down your system. If you left click here, this Windows security from Microsoft is more than enough for you. It will deal most of your task and believe me, I never have a virus issue because of this. It always stop any virus coming into my system and it keeps my system fast. Next, turn on high performance mode. Simply left click here and type power and sleep settings. Left click here and your power and sleep settings will be opened. Then click on additional power settings. After that, 
click on high performance mode. What this will do is that it will increase your system performance. After turning on high performance mode, the next step that you should do is that you should make sure turn on fast startup option is on in your system. To turn it on, simply left click here, choose what the power button can do. Then click on turn on fast startup option from here. If you can't see this option here, then you have to turn it on. Left click here and type CMT. Then right click and select run as administrator from here by left clicking. Again, yes. After that, type this command power CFG slash hibernate on. Turn off C CMD, turn it off this, and then click on additional power settings once again. Make sure you have turned it off, and then again you have to click on additional power settings. After that, click choose what the power button can do. Now you can see turn on fast startup from here. If it is off, then you have to click here, change what the power settings can do, and you have to turn it on from here. Then click save. Plus, I also use Hibernate options a lot, so I turn it on too.